There, that should be working. I had a bug the other day where I had to reset my system settings. Um, that should fix it. I think that should have fixed it. But before we get too far in, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, basically, I've been going through the character creation and trying to get everything set up over on uh, the computer at the moment. But uh, first things first, I want to give a huge shout out to our friends at Ubisoft. Thank you so much, Ubisoft, for providing us with the stream copies and review copies of The Division 2. That a huge shout out to them, as this is completely something offered to us by Ubisoft, and we can't say thank you enough for it. We do have several people working on covering the game, and we will be extensively covering it over the course of the next few months for sure, especially with the fact that, um, let alone are we going to be playing the base game, but also the fact that we're going to be doing a lot more than that as well. So, one thing is first about the uh, version I am playing. I am playing the PS4 Pro version, which means it will have PS4 Pro enhanced features for the game, so load times should be going a lot quicker. Uh, video quality in the stream itself should go a lot smoother. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Sebastian Gonzalez over there. Thank you for tuning in and pointing out the mic issue. That is uh, extremely appreciated. But right now we are going to be playing the first uh, several hours. I would say until I get tired, I think we're going to go. I think this might be an all-night thing that we do. I think we might do an all-nighter with Division 2. Uh, Radwin, I actually tr have been playing it quite a bit, believe it or not. Um, I haven't been streaming it because I am trying to get caught back up in content. I fell slightly behind. I haven't touched it much after one of the guys who I used to play with all the time uh, unfortunately passed away from cancer back in July and it's just made it real hard to play without him. But yeah, I can definitely uh, put that on the notes of things to sh do is uh, stream some Warframe. Okay. So yeah, definitely I can do that, Radwin. I can definitely make sure Warframe gets thrown into the mix. Um, we'll probably do, I would say, Warframe Wednesdays and... Tito Tuesdays and Warframe Wednesdays. I didn't expect another attack so soon. You okay? Brandon, good question. Um, I would say yes. I actually do think it feels a lot better than the first one. This is actually my second character. I have a primary character for my review playthrough, and now I have a character for the stream. So I have a character that you will only see progression on for the streams. Like it, that is his sole purpose will be my stream character but so far it plays better it feels better the difficulty scaling to me is a lot better altogether so yes i would actually say this is a definite improvement over the first one and i actually liked the first one quite a bit but there was some uh tedium to it i didn't like radwin what game do i like most um am i being locked am i locked to a certain generation or um is this just like an all-time favorite question this is a distress code the coordinates for washington dc like uh what am i limited to if there are any limitations someone has to stay we can't just leave these people here uh, Brandon, to answer your question, did they fix gunfire audio cut, cut problems they had cut out problems they had in the beta as well? I have not encountered audio cutout problems yet, and I've been playing this since last week, actually. This past week, actually. So, um, since earlier this week, I have not in encountered that issue. We um, took things for granted. Radwin, to answer your question, I would say coffee in the morning. if I had we to choose a favorite game mind. of all time, I am hands down going to say, us. even though we I'm survived. a diehard fan of multiple, uh, multiple, down, multiple uh, went dark. genres and franchises, I will hands down always say my favorite game of all time down. is a toss between Asthma Diablo 2 and Doom 2. And with no police to protect you. <laughs> Very Did nice, man. 
Um, as far as if I had to choose one that's this generation, um, I can't pick a favorite this generation. I love, there's a we bunch of games I love species. that are more than, you know, more than one game. We found so I can't on. tell you I have a favorite at this point. I mean, now, I love a lot of games this gen, and it's real hard to say this one is one I prefer over the, all the others. In the face of disaster, I would say online-wise, one of my we current favorite games is hands down own. Warframe. I love the community. I love the developers. And... I absolutely just love the experiences that we've had. You know, Warframe has been outstanding. Um, Tom Clancy's The Division 2 is right up there. Anthem is right up there with it as well. They've made our world and Sebastian, real. these graphics are absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is don't one of the best-looking games I have seen next to Assassin's Creed Odyssey so far this generation. What remains. Diablo 2 was hard AF. Yeah, Diablo 2 was, man. It's... It was in a league of its own, and it, it's still in a league of its own. I actually still play it to this day. But if that light goes out. But man, I can't wait to see how this game plays. I can't wait to see the end game. And I have a few friends who have beat the main campaign, but now they're having to go back and do all these uh, side missions they ignored earlier in the game. The outbreak. But I'm going to take a second. I want... You know, I really didn't get a chance to watch the, the, the intro because I had friends that just skipped through this. The real danger is out there, waiting. Washington, D.C. I love this whole dystopian design they have for this. Hey folks, I hope you don't mind the lighting. I am trying something new. But uh, since I'm streaming directly from my PS4 because my capture card is dead, um, I do have a laptop type thing right here off to my right so I can watch your comments while I play. And one of the really cool things I'll actually talk about, you'll see it in action, but uh, I like how as you progress through the world around you, it actually changes you know the safe houses aren't just not just safe houses you actually get to see these central hubs even change it's not just excuse me it's not just the base of operations anymore the base of operations is gorgeous but you actually see the world itself expand and it's really interesting how they do it and it really gives you one of those um everything you do has a reaction not just oh hey i went over here cleared this base and there's a bunch of hyenas running it it's oh hey i cleared this base and now there are people populating this area and patrolling this route so it's really cool what they've done it feels real real organic compared to the first one. like the first one i wasn't i had some issues with uh division one Yeah, you'll see here in a minute, Sebastian. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is, for anybody that's played the beta already knows I'm playing the beta. The beta was the first little bit of the game. So we're going to go ahead and just dive in and get straight into things. Um, having played a little bit of the PC version, I want to give a huge uh, shout out to my buddy Reaper. Uh, he's been letting me play on his PC version. Unfortunately, he had to get his Uplay uh, account reset um, he has some issues with logging in between him and I logging into it constantly taking turns with it but uh, the PS4 version and the PC version I've you know the, the only real difference I've seen so far is the PC version can hit of course 100 plus frames it is very noticeable playing the PC version that you're playing at much higher frame rates Whereas the console version, you can tell you're locked at. I want to say this is 60 frames a second on Pro. <laughs> That's fine, Sebastian. Go for it, dude. I'm totally rocking uh, a not-so-muscled uh, Chris Redfield. I mean, that's kind of what he reminded me of. That's, so that's why I just went with him. I'm digging it. Um, but... As far as slight mechanical changes, you know, I do find 
uh, the computer version being I've gotten where I'm playing a lot more PC games here and there. Uh, oh, I'm dazed. I hate this. I will say that I do find aiming to be slightly easier on PC. And that's about it. I mean, there, there's not a whole lot of big difference, believe it or not. Like, so far, this has run butter smooth on my PS4. <laughs> Yeah, I, I noticed it when I started making it, and uh, because I was having audio issues the other day, um, I'm actually running a new hard drive. I went from a 5400 to a, back to a 7200 RPM, so I have a lot higher uh, speed on my hardware now, you know, as far as hard drive read, write goes. Oh shoot, they busted my armor up. But yeah, I'm to, I'm definitely gonna have to make I have believe it or not, I made Sarah Connor. My my review character. The I have a female that's my review character. And she totally looks like Sarah Connor from the Linda, Linda Hamilton um version. So I totally make the joke that my character Looks like uh, Linda Hamilton's Sarah Connor. Oh, I. One thing I can definitely feel is not having mouse and keyboard since I was playing Reaper's uh, copy. Yeah, I mean, console-wise, the only difference is it's not even graphically. It's just uh, the amount of frame rate you're getting. This is actually the uh, PS4 Pro. I do have HDR turned off just for the sake of the amount of data going through my PS4 for streaming. Um, HDR-wise, it does look a lot... The lighting does look a little crisper. So when I'm playing with HDR on, you know, it lighting is more in depth that kind of thing but that aside this is an absolutely gorgeous game and i highly recommend um the pc the ps4 if you have a pro you know of course uh ps4 pro if you have an xbox one x of course you know you're gonna get the same thing i've actually heard a lot of people saying whether you're on ps4 pro or xbox one x there's not a lot of difference uh graphic wise Ooh, grants Hey, here we go. This one, uh, graphically speaking, I think this is a major, major step up from the previous one. Hey, my DLC pants are finally freaking showing up now. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. I got my stuff. So, I'm totally going to rock the Assassin's Creed Odyssey one. What about my pendants? Do I have any backpack things I can use right now? Masks? None? Yeah, let's... Yeah, no, I don't like the sunglasses on him. They don't look right. Uh, not, I'm not a fan of the hat either. We're going to be Chris Redfield rocking Paris dress-up slacks. Um, as far as beginner loot goes, it's actually a lot easier than the first one. Endgame loot, I've heard so far from several people who have just flown through the story. They didn't do any side quests or anything like that. They just literally plowed their way through this the game. I've heard they said is you. it's a moderate to DC. Uh, challenge to gear up. But it's not an overbearing comes. challenge. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here. Oh man, I'm gonna yeah, make I'm Chris look slick as hell when I get you done. Exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. Oh yeah, a few civilians. Chris totally just went stylish-ish. Villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. 
She's one of the last surviving and agents. We'll definitely, you guys will definitely get She's to see some of the, the theater settlement on a world mission. stuff because we're going to go straight for, we're going to plow our way with, up into the side missions get pretty quickly. Online, it's her. Like, I don't plan on holding back. I oh, plan on just kicking my way through everything. Locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. Oh yeah, I plan on being that new sheriff, yo. By the way, agent, head guns head blazing and all. Quartermaster, he can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need. To yeah, we are gonna get the division tech. I want some division tech. All right, let's talk to this guy. Unlock some division tech. So, do I want to get the chem launcher? The drone or the shield? You know what? I like the turret, so I'm gonna go with the turret. Actually, what do, what variant do I want? The sniper. You know what? I'm gonna go with the assault turret. S perks. So this is one of the things they did change in this game. Is that you actually get perks and stuff now. So immediate effect weapon slot. So they're gonna take my first one. But the first one I'd recommend after this one is get the XP one. I don't get why they stuck with the silent protagonist. That was something fans hated about the first one. That's one of the few things that confuses me about making the making of the game. <laughs> uh, I agree to some extent, Brandon, but I understand why they didn't do it in the same Lou. And it, it's more the fact that the character is you. Like, it's you playing you in this setting. So, you know, they want a character that represents yourself. They want to give you that um, experience. So I understand why they did the way they did. I, I personally, I like having a spoken protagonist. That's a problem I have with Destiny 2 is Intel Forsaken, my character was silent. Um, I think I was a little, I've been a little spoiled with Anthem in that front because Anthem is fully voiced over and um, I've, you know, I can't even say how much I love about that stuff. Exit the building by kicking down the door, doing a Kimbo revolvers. Now you're the sheriff. Yeah, that says more than sheriff. That says I am the new president of this town. Get the hell out, or the mayor's in town. Yeah, you can't. I don't think I've been able to kick a door down. I would love to kick. You know, just run up to door and just like kick the doors and be like, "Screw you all." That would totally be something I'd be down for if I could. Now, the first thing's first. We are just going to run off to this main story quest up here. Ooh. This is... Oh, this is a supply area. Let's loot supplies. This is where my friend Lana got all her food then. She came here first thing. But the music also for this game is phenomenal. That's one thing I love about Ubisoft's teams that work on games is they have some of the best music I've ever heard in a video game. Oh damn, that grenade actually damaged those cars. Bumpers are coming off in the crap now? Holy crap. What the heck is that in the windshield? A rock? Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Oh! <laughs> Where the hell did it go? Oh, they must have... oh, you did not just pop shots off of me. Let's 
same Anthem and Wildlands has voiceovers where you can feel the interaction between characters, but Ubisoft didn't think to have a talk active talking pr protagonist. And also, you're right, the music's kick ass. Yeah, you know, I I know they did in um, Wildlands, and I I do and I don't like it about Wildlands. I do, you know, I do like having a silent protagonist depending on the game. Like, um, God, I don't know of a good example. There's several that are really good examples about silent protagonists that just work. And I guess one of the best ones I would say is the Shimigami Tensei series until they started voiceovering the protagonist itself that you play. Um, you know, it's a, it, it can be done. They can make it work very, very well. In Fall Fantasy 14, another great example of how it's done extremely well but again you know it's pr player preference like i would like to see a voice acted protagonist in division i really would i think it would have made the experience all the better to be able to choose from voice a voice b voice c voice d but um i can see why they didn't do it you know making sure <laughs> yeah that would be a good one But, you know, at the end of the day, I think it just comes down to, you know, can you find a voice actor who you can get to consistently return for that character over the course of multiple DLCs and multiple expansions for a single game and be able to pull off the same role uh, in a, a timely manner versus... Um, just randomly going, hey, we need this for, you know, you know, we need you in the studio for five hours, that kind of thing. Thanks for the movie, Manny. Anytime, Dio. You coming over for dinner? Not tonight. Gotta be with some National Guard buddies. They're worried they'll get called to help with quarantine in the U.S. I remember the Ortegas okay. from Division 1. I believe so we saved them in that subway. You remember swine flu? Everyone freaked out for nothing. You'll see. They should let. They should have let Danny DeVito voice Pikachu. Dude, I agree, one hundred percent. Agree. I love Ryan Reynolds, but the moment I heard him playing Pikachu, the first thing I imagined was dead. Uh, Pikachu Deadpool, or Pikapool. That was it, Pikapool. I don't know if you've all seen Pikapool, but that is a thing. All right, so that, oops, oh well. I bet I can go back at any time and get that echo. Oh, a field proficiency kit. Let's open this. Gloves and a Mark 16. So we're gonna equip, you know, I wanna click the M16 as my primary. This, oh no, I want the ACP as my secondary. So, look. Uh, what else did I get? I got gloves. No, I didn't want to mark those as a favorite. Uh, yeah, no. I would actually say if they didn't do Danny DeVito for Pika, uh, Detective Pikachu, um, another great one that would have worked. I'm coming up in the theater settlement. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this like little cutout camera thing that's going on down there. So I'm not like going off stream. I'm just making the camera bigger. Holy crap! I need to fix that lighting. So one more time. Holy crap! That contrast is horrible. A little better, not not worse, not as bad as it was. All right, Sebastian. As you all can see, I do have uh, a nifty little boom mic right here that my headset's plugged into, which is part of the reason why my headset, you know, my microphone audio is so crystal clear, is that uh, that tidbit right there. God, man, this soundtrack. Love this soundtrack. I have items in my mailbox. How do I check my mailbox? 
Is it under progression? So DC memorabilia. I like that guitar. Like you don't hear a lot of people use the guitar to that kind of sound. That may actually be a bass and not a guitar. I'm actually using razors. I'm using a full razor setup. Uh, these are the Razor Kraken V2s. Uh, I'm using a Razor Siren X for the mic itself. Um, I just don't have the, you know, microphone pulled out, so you don't see the microphone sticking out. Sorry about that. Uh, that noise. I forgot to mute my re my ridiculously loud phone, which I normally do mute. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much my setup, man. I would love to get another pair of headphones. Um, I would actually go with another pair of razors. I swear by razor. I love my razors. Um, if I, but you know, if I'm not using, say, I'm not using my boom mic, I will use a set of PlayStation Golds on my uh, Switch or the PS4. If I'm not streaming, like if I'm completely off camera, that's what I use. But I openly will admit that I really do love my Razer Siren X's. Over blue. I'm confused. Uh, mind clarifying? Like, I have a feeling I know what you're saying. Um... But I just want to make sure I understand what you're getting at. I really don't want to misunderstand you. If you're asking me if I prefer these over Astros or the others, I will openly tell you. I do prefer my... Um, my razors, you know, between my... Oh, you mean blue? Like, uh, I know you're. Wow, I feel stupid now. I know who you're talking about. Um, having used the blue Yeti, I do prefer the Raisin Siren X. I will tell you right now, you cannot pay me to use a, a blue. And I'm not saying that to be negative towards blue at all. You know, I know they make some really decent headsets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't really prefer overhead mics, to be completely honest with you. I'm not a fan of them. So the really cool thing about the headset I have on right now, I have them plugged in, as you can... I will have to turn this towards the camera, but... As you can see, I have this plugged in, the headset right here. You know, there's the dill plugged into the bottom of the mic. And what's really cool, um, about the Razer Siren X over the you know a over the head is the Razer Siren X by default has the ability to loop the mic audio through the headset without having to have a secondary app or a program to let you hear yourself. It just does it automatically. It has a feedback loop. Uh, welcome back, Sebastian. Welcome back, brother. But yeah, I, I haven't had a lot of good luck with Blue Yetis. So I can't say I recommend Blue Yeti because I'm streaming directly from a PS4 right now. This is the more sound idea, and it's more accommodating for my situation. And folks, uh, so I do have a little bit of information to go over. We are going to be changing the stream schedules up here. In a, uh... Brandon, are you a stream? Okay, never mind. Like Agent Kelso, she just left. I'm not sure if he is. I should have gone with her. I don't know if he's still here. It says I have but two I viewer, one viewer instead of two now. I know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. They get to me. 
Oh, he is. Wow, I did not know that about you, Brandon. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I always pay my debts. Man, she got jacked up by something. All right, so our zone just expanded. Yeah, those hyenas, man. Once you start getting against these guys, they're kind of, they're actually kind of some major assholes. Brandon, uh, feel free for everybody who's viewing, if you want, uh, Brandon, drop your, plug in your stream channel, man. Whether it's Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Mixer, uh, Daily Motion, whatever you use, go ahead and feel free to drop it so people can uh, give you a follow. And folks, go give Brandon a follow. And definitely check out his stuff. So the best overhead mic in a mic combo I would recommend, and this is what I use. This is just personal opinion. Uh, so if you folks don't take this uh, as a in all see all. I am telling you people what to do. This is not that. This is just uh, recommending. I would recommend doing um, a Razer Siren headset with or a Razer Siren X microphone. This. Uh, and the raising Razer Krakens, these. I love these headphones. They have great audio. Um, I've actually reviewed them, and I reviewed them extremely high. I actually really, uh, like them, to be completely honest with you. I think they are one of the best headsets I've ever used. So, first things first. Agent Ward Scarf. Chris Redfield's getting a clothing upgrade. Agent Ord pants. Agent Ord t-shirt. Agent Ward's tennis shoes. Um, did he have a hat? No, he didn't have a hat. Yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to look like a slightly more pimped out Chris Redfield. Oh, we got a vendor to talk to. I've got it. Come check it out. Incoming backup request. Brandon, uh, I actually, believe it or not, don't use an Elgato. I've actually found the PS4 software itself. I do like the idea of having a computer uh, with a moderately powerful GPU, CPU. So I can stream from it, but I'm just doing it for my PS4 right now, and I don't know how good it looks, but I can imagine it probably looks pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, Chris is getting pretty classy, isn't he? Yeah, Brandon, whenever you get that set up, man, uh, if you if I'm streaming, feel free to plug your uh, stream in. Let us know, uh, folks. If you do stream. Or you have a YouTube channel, what what have you? Feel free to uh, plug it in. Let uh, let's all give a chance to give you a follow. Whether you're watching this as a video on demand or you're watching the stream live, whichever you prefer, uh, definitely feel free to uh, plug that in so people can give you a follow. I do not get upset with that. The only thing that upsets me is backseat gaming. <laughs> Diesel's gonna kick this dude's ass. <laughs> like, I know I'm killing my chance that you monetize this video, but I can't monetize anyway, so it doesn't matter. If I was Diesel and I found out this dude screwed that up, I would be kicking his ass in. I bet he does more in Huff and Puff. I bet Diesel puts his foot right up your ass. Right next to the Grand Washington Hotel. Ooh, okay, Grand Washington know. Hotel. Head to the service entrance on the east side of the building. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, I understand the Benadryl thing, man. Trust me. Alright. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I know, it, it's kind of sad, like, I don't mind recommendations, but, like, what I'm saying, I guess I should uh, clarify my definition of backseat gaming. I don't mind if you have to offer advice. The ones I don't like are the ones that'll come in going, oh, you're doing this wrong, this is how you're supposed to do it. I, no, I don't allow that stuff on my channel. Like, I, I don't care about it here, because, you know, this is Bass Away. This is Blast Away's channel, but on Twitch... Since it's just, you know, personal thing on Twitch, I don't tolerate it here, you know. Chances are, if I don't do it, one of the moderators will probably mute that person on this channel temporarily. Hostile radio intercepted. Oh, yeah. yeah, right, you know. That's the way I am. I don't care how you play a game. If you ask for advice, I'll give you advice, but I'm not gonna, you know, I don't tell people how to play. It's like this. I don't even know how I'm gonna build a character. Like, I'm probably gonna pay attention to the stats because it definitely seems like stats are gonna play a big role towards the end game. It's like if people have recommendations, I'll gladly listen to a recommendation or two. Hyena big shot, real unpleasant. We need to kill this asshole. I'll gladly kill this dude. And everybody's on fire. Chat's nuts roasting on an open fire. Actually, it should have been Chet's nuts roasting on open fire. Yeah, we're gonna bring the heat even harder. Oh! They are just flooding in right there. Yeah, here comes a drone! Minor frame rate hiccups. Nothing horrible. Oh, that's why there's like two freaking smoke grenades going off on top of each other. Like, right? I know. That's why I quit playing all the games you just mentioned. I literally quit playing them all. And actually, I didn't quit uh, Insurgency Standstorm because of that mentality. I quit it because of the racism. Like, I don't care who you are. I don't care what your skin color is. Brown, white, black, tan, you know, a yellowish tan. Your skin could be green or purple for all I care. You could be freaking silver as silver can be. I'll treat you with the utmost respect. Because, to me, skin color is just that. It's skin color. It doesn't determine who you are inside. Um, but, so, for example, the other day, I decided to play Insurgency Sandstorm. Because, I'm, you know, I was going to work on not just streaming. I want, you know, they provided me with the code, so I was going to get a review going for it. I have never met so many people screaming or s using derogatory... Uh, slang, or even making fun of how people talk. You know, like uh, the clicking sounds some tribes do after they finish certain words or adjectives. Um, and, you know, we're not talking in Middle Eastern for that one. Uh, I've had them um, do other things that are even, you know, worse. I mean, 
it really started bugging me because you know i'm sitting here playing it's four o'clock in the afternoon and it's not just like it wasn't just one or two people on team it was a whole clan and i had it happen more than once and it's just like god man how are they doing this and there's no report function in the game where you can report them for racism or hate speech you know i don't care what way you cut it racism is racism Oh, God, that freaking gas. There we go. I got it. That's what I was going for. I thought there was one right here. There he is. I'm fine, Isaac. Dang, that, those melee guys hit hard. Man, I'm a horrible shot. Holy crap. You know, even as a kid, I didn't see it all that funny, but you know, it's like I tell people you know, I think some of it is maturity wise, you know, as I've gotten older, I realized how horrible I used to be. That's actually a good su suggestion. Um, but you know, I used to be, I'm going to put it, be honest when I was younger, dude, I didn't have a sense there. I was a grade A jerk that probably deserved to get his crap kicked in more than once. But now that I've gotten older, it's just like, man, why did I do that crap? You know, if I could, I would take everything I did back then and just kick myself in the face for even having done it. it. You know, and it's not that I don't think these kids are bad kids. You know, I don't think they are. I think, you know, I know they're there to have fun. That's all they're doing. But it's just like, they gotta realize what they're doing isn't necessarily right. And if it's morally questionable, it's probably not something they should be doing. Damn it. I thought he was gonna move to the left. If you're not sure if it has asbestos, then why the hell did you blow it up, lady? I'll have to give that a look next time, Brandon. Thanks for the heads up, dude. I plan on playing Insurgency on PS4. Like, as soon as it becomes available, day one purchase. I love how it plays. It reminds me of the ga days back to games like Delta Force and SWAT back on Windows Classic. You know, like Windows 95, Windows 98. Your channel is only a bit successful because people give you trailers. I wouldn't say that's it, Pizza Broccoli. I wouldn't say that's it at all, man. You know, let alone do I stream. I also, you know, I've posted guides left and right. I do tutorials. You know, I think it's a, a culmination of things. But I don't just run this. This isn't my only source for Blast Away the Game Review. Random question. Have you played a GameCube? Yes, I actually have. Um, my favorite game for GameCube would probably be a toss between... Let's get the cliches out of the way. You know, I'm not going to go with the cliche. Oh, Smash Brothers or this. I would say my favorite... 
favorite game that came out of the GameCube was probably PNO3 next to Metroid Prime. I love both of them. PNO3 was a blast. I wish Capcom would make a sequel or even an H2. Damn. Disease. That hurt. I'll have to go get that headset on my dad's room. Um, Pizza Broccoli, if you're still watching, what disgruntles you with the channel? It was definitely noticeable that you're disgruntled about something. But if we have too much monetization, we get what BO4 is right now, where the pros simply... Yeah, see, my problem with any game is... You know, I may be a game critic, as well as a streamer, and a content creator. My big thing is... Uh, with games in general, I think the biggest issue I have is... And it's an issue that plagues a lot of games is they look at the data. Oh, this analytics tool is telling us this. This analytics tool is telling us this, this, this. Not, oh, hey, this is what the analytics tool actually did, and this is what the past experiences are. It's just, this is what the tools say. This is what the data, data is showing us. You know, that's my problem with the games, or... You know, in the case of Call of Duty, it's, we're gonna design this game based around the highly competitive player. Um, that is a problem, and that is something that really irks me. But you know, when you get games like Anthem, let's use Anthem as a great example. When you get games like Div even Division 1, when you get a community that absolutely is beyond passionate about the game they're playing, even though they can be super critical, like, you know, us fans can be super, super critical. Um, you know, it is one of those where it is definitely one of those where the fans can be too critical and they can cause issues and or um, distrust or differentiating opinions between the more serious to casual players. So it's one of those, you know, you gotta sift through things and actually figure out what's what and what works best for the game. And that's where I do think developers, while, while they are getting feedback from their fans and listening to the fans, I still think they, you know, they themselves need to play it as fans, not just the developers and look from it from that aspect and that's why i don't like call of duty anymore i don't know who got the bright idea of hey we're gonna lock all these weapons um uh, should be locked behind this battle pass and player progression versus hey how about you just level up and earn a gun that is actually why i quit playing black ops 4 and streaming black ops 4 is i got mad with the mindset of oh hey you have to be this level in this battle pass or you're not going to get this weapon. That's just not right, man. You're you're blocking gears and gear and equipment behind a paywall. And essentially it became pay to win at that point. And that's what really pissed me off with Call of Duty. What's even worse is it's, it's such a limited meta when we okay, this could be this year, dude. The limited amount of weaponry. Yeah, I don't agree with the meta. I don't agree with it all. They should have left it alone and just banned certain attachments. Um, I don't agree with it. I tried to do the uh, Call of Duty Pro League thing, you know, whatever that's called, the league mode, and I don't like it. I'm not going to partake in it, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm not happy with Black Ops 4 at all. Oh, that's Kelso. <laughs> wow. Uh, I need the drone there. Uh, 
Oh, did that stun him? I don't know what those explosions were, but damn. The one thing I don't like about a lot of uh, super competitive games, like Rainbow Six, I'm actually going to put it out there. I think the best competitive game on the market, an example of how a competitive game should be, is Siege. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh my god, that's a tactical game. Call of Duty is not tactical. But it's everybody can use everything, and it's a super balanced game. Yeah, exactly. I don't even play Call of Duty with aim assist. What the hell is the point of it, you know? All aim assist does is it holds your hands for like a hundredth of a second. Yeah, exactly. The uh, combat's a heavy transition between each scenario and it definitely, uh, it pushes you. It's like here, Dang, that guy was like, I'm gonna climb this wall. Hey, I'm gonna run away. Yeah, that's one thing that I do love about the game, and I agree with it. It's the transitions are very, very well designed. It's like right here, I'm just... God, I need, I need cover so I can do this. Oh, dude, I agree. I've been playing rank and I can't say I'm a horrible player at it. You know, I'm having to get used to playing with the controller again without aim assist because I don't use aim assist in it on consoles and I'm using mouse and keyboard on Siege. Uh, dude, it's such a good game. It's so well balanced. All the, all the heroes add completely different aspects to every combat scenario. Well, not, <laughs> not heroes, but the uh, operators. And it's a complete different experience and I've noticed it never really plays the same no matter uh, What team you encounter because every encounter will work differently. Everybody has their own Approach to every scenario Oh wow some more are coming out even though I just defeated Saint Come on, come on. Dang, I think Kelso just domed that guy. And sorry folks if I seem to get a little irritated with uh, being told the only reason I'm successful is because developers uh, give me trailers. I want to put it on the table right now. I'm not going to... This is complete transparency. The reason that this channel is accessible, successful as it is, is um, I'm going to head put my controller down and focus on this completely. Um, the thing that really helps is not me. I am not going to say it's me. It's because I have excellent writers who offer a lot of input. When I write a script... They go in, they suggest changes, they even note changes that they highly recommend. So I have an excellent team behind me. It's not me, it's my team. Um, I've had multiple people express dis dislike or something of this channel. Um, I know some people came to this channel for Warframe thinking, oh, we're going to get just purely Warframe. I want to be completely upfront with you. This channel is not just a Warframe channel. It's not just a guides and tutorial channel. It's a hybrid channel. It's one that is about streams, community, fun, news, information. And it's one of those things I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you how it is, whether you like it or not. That's just the way my team and I are. We're very transparent. We're very honest. Um, we don't sugarcoat anything. We try to help people as many as much as we can. 
Um, there are things that we've done behind the scenes for years that not a lot of people know about because we don't go, oh, hey, we did this. You know, we do blood drives. We do giveaways. Um, we've done some charity stuff. I have done some humanitarian stuff myself. I've done, I have under, you know, my company's flag, this team's flag, even this, I run this team, but I'm not the team itself. You know, there are multiples of us and without my excellent team that I have the honor to work with, everything I do today would not be possible. Uh, without the amazing viewers, amazing readers, such as yourselves, um, this would not be possible. So everything I do is for you all. It's not for me. It's not for a game developer. It's not for a game publisher. It's purely for you to get honest truth, pure transparency, blunt as hell reviews, blunt as hell impressions, previews, what have you, honest feedback and suggestions. I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't ever plan on sugarcoating anything. I just tell it how it is. This channel is not successful because of trailers that actually got under my skin a little bit and it's just it started brewing so if that's what a lot of people want to think that's not the case the developers i am extremely honored to work with the developers and the publishers we do you know they could actually pass on go to other studios you know other teams approach them to create content the same content i am doing today and probably get even higher quality because they probably have the equipment I don't have to do even higher quality content. Now, do I plan on improving the content in the future? Yes, I plan on improving the content. Do I plan on uh, having more guest stars on this stream? Yes, I do. I plan on having a, my friends Alona, James, Jordan, you know, my buddy Josh, who was one of the original creators of Bagger. I plan on having, if you are in chat and you want to join, giving you that possibility that is what makes this channel successful is the fact that it is for the viewer by the viewer and by a very transparent team of gaming journalists and content creators if there's something we have done that people don't like we have a feedback page you can simply go to our website go to contact us Email us what has disgruntled you or what you think we can do better. And we'll honestly give it a view. You know, we'll we'll read it if it's something that we as a team feel is absolutely necessary to our success. We'll definitely take it in consideration. But don't come in here just to bash us. That's all I ask. Don't come into a stream saying the only reason your channel has as many likes or follows as it does. Which is very close to what this guy just hinted at. This broccoli pizza, which is, I hate saying it, a very trolly YouTube name. Um, to harass us and to demean us. We have no problem with honest, critical feedback. But just to slam, just to slam, come on, man. That's not the way to do it. What's, okay, let's see here. I love the transitions in this game. I appreciate it. You know, my team, backer is not me. It's my team. My team is what makes this possible the developers are what makes this possible you guys are and gals and everybody involved is what makes this possible you know i don't care um you know what gender you are what race you are if you like the content and you support it by tuning in whether you talk or not it supports us and we support you you know we're about community we're about friendship kinship what have you you know, we don't tolerate hate, harassment, Who flame bait, racism, nothing She's negative. You know, we want a better world. We want a peaceful world. And we want a place where Let's meet if the you're tuning in, for example, you feel like you're at home. You feel safe. That you feel confident about what you're doing. You don't have to second guess um, our motives or our content. And you, you should never have to do that with anyone. And that's not something you're going to get here. You're not going to make me mad. And this isn't you, Sebastian. This isn't general. You know, you're not going to make the team or I mad to the point 
we're going to make a ma racist remark. You know, we're not going to make a bigot, bigot remark. We won't respond to baiting at all. None of us will. Not even my PR guys or my moderators. Um, we don't do it. You know, that's our thing is we're just completely transparent. If we've screwed up somewhere, we will openly admit we've screwed up. We've done it before. We have deleted articles because we screwed up and baited in on a rumor or something like that. And we've openly admitted that we have done that before. But, you know, we were, I were just running the website in this channel. I run, I run, I do this 90 to 100 hours a week. There's days where I don't get any sleep. Oh, heck no, boy. Oh, hello. Hello, nurse. All right, yeah, we, I don't think I can use that turret. I definitely think I'm gonna have to hoof this one. I appreciate it, guys. You know, I, here's my big thing. You know, for the longest time, I followed some of YouTube's biggest names. I'm not pointing out fingers. You know, there's thousands of them out there but over time even on twitch i found that even though they're some of my favorites and they are some of the bigger names i found that their content wasn't really evolving they weren't they were starting to focus solely on one thing or um you know they would go news and do this This soundtrack is definitely that. But let me put it this way, folks. If I've done something that you don't like ever, call me on it. Call my team on it if we do something. We will do what we can to ensure quality content. And we will continue to always do it. You know, I openly said at the very start of this stream, this stream is completely possible because Ubisoft was extremely kind to us provided us with copies of the game um i'm not going to detail how many that is for our privacy sake of my writers um but let's just say it's enough adequate resources for us to do what we're gonna we got to do you know we have a streamer we have two streamers myself and alona we have somebody working on guides you know we have another guy who's assisting in the reviews process you know he's going to be doing some stuff of his own um and you know there's we don't hide anything really if it's something that we feel is necessary to hide we'll hide it but it's never anything that will make you question what we're doing in our work um on a lighter note let's see what comments are saying excuse me is this ost competing with dooms this is going hard i <laughs> you know sebastian i think it is because i love mick gordon he's absolutely one of my favorite composers and uh, musicians on this planet, but I definitely think they're trying to compete with Mick Gordon. I would say they're competing with two, actually. Um, Gustavo Santalola, the the gentleman behind the the Last of Us soundtrack, it, and uh, Mick Gordon is who they're competing with. Because damn, it, they're hitting all the notes just right. And this sounds this song right here sounds like something. Uh, uh, Gustavo. Um, Santa Lola wrote you know it's got the soft laid back guitars the very atmospheric steel sounding background rhythm Come on over and take a look. it all feels like something uh, Carlos Santa Lola would make do you feel like cloud gaming servers will ever come to consoles I'm going to say this because I've said it before they're already here um, the reason I say I'm that gonna, is going to be helping out at the base of operations. Uh, Microsoft is actually using them in some of their games. Uh, I believe Titanfall One was actually using a form of cloud technology to power part of its engine. Uh, Crackdown, I can't confirm if Crackdown Three is or isn't because um, 
they've had to draw back a little bit on what the game was capable of. I don't know if it graphically performance. I haven't played it yet. Um, I would love to review it. Microsoft hasn't responded to our bombs. requests. Um, and I can't afford Game Pass right now, so that's the thing. Um, but if you think about it, even a game as a service like this is technically in a way using um, some form of cloud for the game itself. Um, as far as um, evolution of cloud goes, Brandon, that's a good question. Um, I wouldn't say all games are using cloud. I would say Microsoft has used them to some extent to power the engines, but that was it. As far as games and gameplay servers go, I would say they're still using a dedicated server outside of the cloud to uh, power them, not in cloud-based. Uh, I do th strongly think that we will see cloud become more prominent moving forward. I would say probably within the next five, six, seven years, we will see it make a more prominent move. Um, there are several game developers who are looking into, for example, blockchain, uh, Ethereum blockchain to power the games because they are more secure. Ever, they Barely allow um, what am I to do? for games help to be us. even better, helping. and they also reward the I players for using their helping. resources to help Just not the way you power them to. through a blockchain using uh, crypto farming you. technologies or crypto that. mining technologies with with but a minimal impact fail, on the hardware. All right. All right. Hey, wow, that's a little bit of a bug. That wasn't there before the patch yesterday. We could what the heck? Spare some people. Her hands didn't come through like that in yesterday's patch. I'll be outside. Well, before it. It's gotta be a texture bug. She said you did your part. I won't forget it. Regardless of one animation or texture issue, you can't get past the fact this is not a really damn good looking game. Agent, to check in? Folks, and the one thing you can do if you really do like the content that you're seeing on this channel, uh, aside from making sure you click the bell to be notified when I go live or one of my team members goes live, the other big thing you can do is share. Um, share the streams as much as you can. Um, that way we can make sure, you know, we got most as much coverage as possible. And show that YouTube, you know, we are definitely making content that serves you properly and gives you the content that you came here to see. Um, I will be streaming on this channel quite a bit more. Um, you know, I do think that is something you all deserve is to have more content more often so that you can get the stuff you need so that's definitely something there Let's see here order a retail side mission okay so we're gonna help her cooperation resilient solidarity aspiration so here's where we're at right now. We're at resilience. We're going to work towards cooperation. So clan Grace Larson. So let's go do the second quest for here. So they need this is Simmons. I'm a what now? rooftop garden. A Dia tech office. Jefferson trade. On the roof near the radio mast. Agent, it looks... Man, this is Briggs over at American History. Boys headed down south any time? Okay, hold on. What quest did it say I need to do? do you have a moment? Odia Retail side mission. So... Okay, American History Museum, Jefferson Trade. Odia Tech Office, maybe? Okay, yeah, that is. Odia... I appreciate Brandon. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate the critical feedback and the awesome discussion you offered it up tonight. Thank you so much for that. It was definitely um, something fun to discuss and talked about. And we'll definitely have to do it soon. Welcome back. Welcome back.
So one thing we will be doing, um, folks, we will be doing weekend streams, dedicated weekend streams uh, from now on. Um, we will be doing some streams in the evenings during the weekdays, but those will not have a set in stone uh, schedule just yet. I will be figuring those out over the course of the next couple weeks. Sorry for the yawning, folks. I am ex I'm not tired. I just It's just really weird. It's almost like I, I'm not getting enough air, even though I'm breathing quite a bit. But uh, we will be doing quite a bit, especially since um, we have Division 2 to work through for the review. Uh, tomorrow will be Anthem. We're going to test out the new loot update since the new loot update dropped today. We're going to test and see how much loot we can get for Grandmaster 2 then for the Storm. And then we will work our way through possibly a Interceptor or a Colossus tomorrow as well. Um, additionally, on Sunday, we will be back with Tom Clancy's The Division 2 for part of the day. Then, Sunday night, we will be back for a thorough stream of Caligula Effect Overdrive, which we will be starting from scratch. Um... Then we'll be working on that. Uh, another thing is we will have a video review coming up soon uh, for what was wow my brain's blinking here. We will have a video effect, a video review which will only can only go up to chapter four, but we will be showing contents for chapters one through four in our review for Death End Request. A huge shout out to in Idea Factory for providing that copy of that game then we have another one again the Caligula effect overdrive or overdose rather sorry for PS4 as well from NIS America so we'll have that stream as well so we got plenty of content on the way on top of it on the 22nd I will be streaming folks put mark this in your calendars starting on March 22nd or it's 25th which Whichever date Sekiro comes out, I believe they it was the 22nd for the Deluxe Editions. I could be wrong. I'd have to double-check that information since we don't have a PR contact there. But we will be streaming Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from beginning to end throughout the week to the following week alongside Tom Clancy. So we'll have an exciting week with that. Um, we will be doing quite a bit of content with Division 2. We will have a video review for this as well, so you can stay tuned for that. That script will not be in the work just yet because we are going to do some planning for that. Mostly for the fact that since this is an online game, this, that does mean there's going to be patches, some content changes, that kind of stuff. So with that being said, um, Ubisoft is well aware. We've already talked with them and already have said we're not going to push a review out. ASAP because let alone are we going to do a review we all will be doing some guides for this game on how to better optimize your time in the world including you know what missions that we highly recommend that you do first such as this one like the Odia tech office that way you can openly get the ability to use grace so you can form clans but let alone that part we're also going to be doing guides on how to better survive oh what the heck just hit me I think that was a shotgun. Damn. That was just brutal. But uh, we will have guides for this as well. We will have a couple video guides coming up as well. That would be reflections of the written guides we've done for Anthem. So we'll have some uh, class guides on that. Also, starting next month, just to give you guys an idea of what is coming in April. So everybody that tunes in normally, if you're watching the stream, you're getting a first idea of what's coming up in april starting april we will be doing more video guides we will be doing some more discussion pieces but also i will be doing our first reboot of our beginner guides and tutorials for warframe so that will be a thing if our capture card is able to be replaced we will also start streaming nintendo switch titles right here on youtube for you all so if everything works out you can expect that starting next month we just got to wait to hear back if our video card can be replaced or repaired we are definitely going to take advantage of it and have quite a bit of fun with it another thing is i do want to give a huge shout out to 
uh, one of my good pals who will be doing dedicated streams for Blast Away the Game Review. I just have to get her on this channel well, as well, rather. Uh, Lona Davis will be joining me. She is a YouTube writer who, or rather one of our streamers who will be turning YouTuber as well. So she will be joining me on that. And then on top of it, we will be starting a podcast next month. So you'll be able to tune into those podcast episodes right here. We will have it set so that if you have YouTube Premium, I believe is what they're calling it now, you can actually tune in directly from that, download the episode, and listen while you're at work, at the gym, while you're walking your dog or driving your car, and get our thoughts and opinions on some of the latest news, as well as uh, rapid fire questions regarding some of the upcoming games and stuff that we think about it pre-review if we're allowed to talk to that content, so you can definitely expect that coming up as well. So lots of awesome stuff in the works, multiple approaches to the content that we're already doing, and always finding new ways to help it ever expand and become something that we hadn't done before. So there is that little bit for you guys to enjoy here coming soon. Oh, cleared that one. Let's see, is there anything in here? I probably should have gone back to the base operations and unlocked that ability right there that I have unlocked. But first, because this is a tech office, uh, Lana and I were playing the other night. She found that you can find stuff down in these basements. Yeah, tons of stuff, man. We're doing a lot more. We want to expand our reach. And we figured, you know, what's what a better way than just streaming and creating videos here and there and on YouTube? why not just take advantage of the power of YouTube and release a bunch of brand new news and really just come in swinging in 2019. So we're going to come definitely come in swinging in 2019 this year here on this channel. Let alone is our website going to be a host for it all. We're also going to be uh, making sure we go in with a bang and go out with an even bigger one for the year. So lots of plans this year. Lots and lots of plans. And then uh, we're even going to look about seeing, if we can, about getting our PC at a couple gaming events and doing some, or going to a couple events and maybe, just maybe getting our hands on some GDC games uh, here in the next couple of days. So awesome stuff like that could be happening, doing some remote accessing via Steam, that kind of stuff. So if we do that, we will definitely be streaming those uh, those little opportunities of ours. Ooh, something for me to interact with. Grab it. Goodbye. Level up. Nope, they're not allowed to run. Oh, what? Headshot. Ah, oh, I can shoot through the glass, but I can't break it. Whoa, I thought I just heard a grenade go off. What did I hear? Oh, she was using that gas of theirs. I want to make sure there's no secrets. Like, that's one thing I have missed oh, Missed is looting stuff. Uh, purple life bar means they have more armor than the previous one, but it's also their status as a either a common or uncommon character. So purple making them probably the equivalent of, I would say, an elite. Whereas uh, orange would make them a leader or a uh, legendary. Basic, you know, one of those things like you see in Diablo kind of things. Or it's basically saying, hey, this is the enemy you should be concerned about. Holy... Oh god, I'm dazed. Come on. Come on. I know 
Dang, she can take a hit. Got her. Question of the day is... The heck? Do not click on this. Hey, what's going on? Don't. Or do not. How you doing tonight, man? I would call you Click. I like that. I like the name Click. How you doing tonight, Click? How is your Friday night going? Oh, it's me. I remember you, bro. I remember you. What's up, Smee? How you doing, man? I remember you. How could I forget, man? You're a loyal viewer here. Of course I remember you. I was actually going to talk with you on PSN the other night, man. And by the time I clicked on your name, you were already off. Like, you were... Yeah, it's me. I remember you, bro. Brother. I can't forget a friendly face. That's not something I can do easily. I think my nephew fell asleep. I think my nephew is seriously snoring behind me. Let's see, 870 mark 16. Aw, oh, dude, you and me both, man. I can't wait to get to the end game. I'm really hoping uh, it's not one of those I'm going to end up waiting three or four days to get to, which I know it's going to be because uh, just the way these kind of games play. But I'm excited for it, man. I can't wait to get to the Dark Zone and start grinding out the gear. Thank you. The hyenas have been keeping me here to repair their gear. Oh, I don't have Aina's gear if key. You to find gear, you're out of luck. Well, the battery packs we came looking for aren't here, but hey, you rescued a civilian, and that's a victory. Look for improvised now, body armor. Nice. Let's call this one agent. Move out. Yes, sir. On the double. Let's move out. Yeah, I did see the trailer. I uh, watched the Infinity War one, man. I'm so excited for that. I, I'm I have a theory about the uh, the red and white suits. I have a theory about the that movie. I actually tweeted Andrew Reiner, the editor of Game Informer, about it since he was talking about the uh, the Reality Stone being red. Because I really didn't think the Reality Stone was red. I thought that was the uh, Strength Stone or something like that. Ammonium nitrate, fertilizer, lead doesn't matter. Take off the ammo. What now? Ammonium nitrate. There's gardens on the rooftops. We're gonna mark the gardens, but I'm gonna fast travel to the uh, base of operations really quick. What's kind of crazy is these load times aren't really that bad. They're pretty damn quick. Hey folks, I'm gonna do something really, really quick. I think my nephew passed out. So I'm gonna see if he passed out. If he did, I'm gonna give him a pillow and a blanket. Give me one second. He's on the floor behind me. Poor kid has had a long week and he's got an even longer weekend. He's got his tests to study for while he's visiting.
Sorry about that, folks. My nephew uh, passed out on the floor waiting on uh, my Xbox to update so, so he could play games. So I wanted to make sure he uh, went to the living room so he didn't sleep on the floor and make his back hurt. Can't do that to the kid. You know, good kid. Worked his ass off on his homework tonight, so I was going to let him play some games. Just trying to study for midterms. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, bro. Alright, so... What are these fireflies? What do they do? What does this one do? A sonic emitter below the user? I'm down for that shit. <laughs> Excuse the language. How a drone that heals me? Yeah! Now you're talking my language. Alright, so first things first. XP for headshots. <laughs> I love getting headshots, so this is going to be a perk that I can take benefit of. Advantage, wow, benefit. Portable electronic device detected. Have you heard? Heard what? About Waller. No, what's the latest? Has he decided Russia's responsible after all? No, he... He's dead. Tell me you're lying. I swear, I'm not. A heart attack got him an hour ago. They couldn't revive him. Damn, this story, he's like... Man, it shows you what kind of disarray the government was in in this game before the collapse. I don't know how I feel about a Watch Dogs 3. I, I'm not saying Watch Dogs is a bad series, it's just not a series for me by any means. I didn't really care for the second one all that much. I'm not saying the first one wasn't a good game at all, by any means. But uh, it's definitely a series that I had a hard time following. But again, it goes on the premise I've disclosed before. I'm not good with open world games, but somehow I can pr play MMOs among the best of them with little to no issue. But even with that being stated... I think it's MMOs are a very different aspect of open world, personally speaking. And uh, I would say my most anticipated game of 2019, if I had to choose one, my most anticipated game is a tie. Is a tie. I have a three-way tie for most anticipated game of 2019. I had Days Gone, Damon Cross Machina, and Doom Eternal as my top three tied for first place. Also, control point nearby. Like, there's no way to really say I have a first because there's so many good games coming out this year. That's just like, how do you choose what's best, you know, what's going to be the top pick and what's not. You know, I'm really excited to see Doom Eternal. I think Doom Eternal is going to be insane after what I've seen. I'm on the fence about Rage. I have very mixed feelings about Rage 2. Even though, uh, thanks to Bethesda, I got to play the early access of Rage. I still have mixed feelings about Rage. Did I not equip my freaking ability while I was at the White House? Shit. I didn't click my drone. I'm actually going to have to go back to the White House after this control point.
Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, damn. Damn. Okay, so before I do that, I need to equip that drone. I thought I had it equipped, and apparently I didn't. That was my bad. Folks, you are going to see a blue screen very momentarily. I am going to open a party chat in case uh, one of my friends... What have you? That kind of thing? Joining the stream. So, fingers crossed, you know, somebody joins. Boop. Beep, 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 beep. Talk to the quartermaster real quick since I forgot to quit my drone. Because I are dorkfish. I is a dorkfish. Okay. Thought I had to talk to him to equip that stuff. My, do I not? No, I should have to quit. Because there's turret. I thought it said I don't have that equipped. The internet quality is currently not su sufficient of what? You all watching can see gameplay, right? You all are seeing me moving around, running, and shooting, correct? I bet it's because it was loading and I was screened out. I bet that's what happened. I do not have a second drone equipped. What the hell, game? Oh, right, they've changed it a little bit. I, I hate when they... I keep forgetting that. Sweet, bro. Hold on a sec. I got an invite real quick. I'm going to jump in this chat. Hey, what's up, Josh? Okay, I did join this party, good. Hey, what's going on, bud? Oh, you know, no, streaming some Division 2, having a nice little conversation with a, a loyal viewer. Oh, very cool. And absolutely getting my shit stuffed in right now. Very cool. Very good. Oh, you know how tactical games are. I don't do tactical. I just do, I'm going to run in and murder everything if I can. And unfortunately, in tactical games, it doesn't work very well. How's it do, bro? I'm uh, just popping on for a few minutes to play some Persona. Ah, you got addicted to that dancing all night. I don't know, this is only really like the second song that I'm playing on here, so... Heal me, little drone. Oh, what? You jerks killed my drones. No, my drones are off limits. My drones. Only I'm allowed to shoot my drones. It killed my drones. 
I'm disappointed that Persona 3 doesn't even really have a storyline from the looks of it. It's just it does. Or if you have a story. No, the um, so three and five are mostly light novel. They're not cutscenes. That was one thing that kind of irked me with the dancing all night games. I need to stream those and just show the world how bad I actually am at a beat rhythm game outside of Beat Saber. Love all the rhythm games. Like, I know, right, Sebastian? Shoot the freaking assholes that are shooting my drones. Shit, shit. <laughs> I need health. I got the Help me, baby the Jesus. Button. Help me, Tom Cruise. Uh-oh. What's this? I actually had somebody that did not catch the Talladega reference the other night when I was streaming this. That's scary. I was like, how do you not... I was like, that was such a good reference. And the fact I did it while I was bleeding out was so awesome. I'm not in a good position. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, what? Oh, I barely have that. Holy crap. Reinforcements incoming. Oh, yes. Thank the freaking Fuck. heavens. A one hit combo. Damn. Detecting additional hostile contacts. What? Additional hostile contacts? Isaac Esme, you better. Oh, crap. Isaac's not exaggerating. Another leader? How many freaking leaders are there? <laughs> what is this madness? This is my first time to do an enemy stronghold. What the hell is this madness? Oh god, he's shooting freaking incendiary grenades! This is insanity! Josh, this is the definition of insanity. 115 hit combos before we end this. Oh god! How did that not get me a trophy? I got over a hundred, hundred hit combos. There. Fucking pissing at most. Okay. This is insane! Watch these mm. social events. And that was a freaking oh, enemy stronghold. Um, our control point. Ooh, what is this? A supply room. All night. Obtain half of all the costumes. All the costumes. All the pairs of glasses. What is this madness? Shade tech. What? Military LSW. Dude, agreed, Sebastian. 100%, bro. That is a hell of a find is what that is. Alright, let's look at gear. I just got a bunch of gear. Let's see. I like this AUG, but... <laughs> Filled cash. Let's open this. Gloves. That... Ooh, an FAL. I will never turn down an FAL. So, 229 versus 218, but... Dang, but I lose five range, but I have a higher RPM. I don't want to get rid of that shotgun, though. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the FAL, or the uh, LMG for now, and if it doesn't work, I'll go to that. All right, so it says I got clothing stuff. Where is clothing stuff? Do I have a cash? It's saying I have clothing stuffs. Where's clothing stuffs? I like clothing stuffs. 
Chris Redfield smash. Chris Redfield need more clothing stuffs. Oh my. Oh dude, my character totally looks like Chris Redfield with mutton chops. I'm totally rocking the chops. Oh right, I had more gear than this. That I had like tons of gear. Okay, so summit, alpha summit set. Ooh, we're gonna go for these. Shotgun damage. <laughs> what? Like I need two percent more shotgun damage. This game is just like, here, have shotgun damage. You okay, Bob? What else did I get? Nothing. Get down! Oh, my eyes are dry. This sucks. Alright, so I've taken over the fallen cranes. I will give you all the supplies you need, homeboy. Sweet, dude. I appreciate it, Sebastian. Hopefully the Benadryl helps you feel a little better if you're feeling a little under the weather, man. Let's see here. What else do we have? I need to find water. I gotta find a place to get water for these guys. Ooh, knee pads. I need a new vest. That's what I need. I haven't gotten a new vest yet. I've gotten everything but a vest. You know what? I was going to say, I think I craft a vest, but I'm not going to go down that route. We're going to try and do this rooftop gardens mission. I did this with my friend Alona, and I literally wanted to scream out of pure frustration. I can't believe it. An armor Keep kit. I can't believe this shit's happening here. It does to some people. I know some people, it makes them white, wake up wide awake. But I'm one of those people, if I take a Benadryl, I will be out cold in 15 minutes. Tops. Like, the moment it even hits me, I'm done. Like, there is no uh, staying awake. There is no walking around. I am simply out for the count There's on no Benadryl. no putting your penis into things. No, no. Dude, like, Benadryl... Honest to God, under, you know, swear on my grandfather's grave, if I take it, I'm out within the 30 minutes I took it. I don't know why, but it knocks me out so fast. And what's weird is my mom can take, like, three Benadryl if her she's having, like, a really bad allergic reaction or some crap after doing the yard work yep. in the summer. Dude, my mom can eat Benadryl like candy, and it doesn't do crap to her. I t but it's like, I I'm the opposite. It's like, oh, hey, you want to knock me out? Just slip me some Benadryl. And I'm done for. Damn it. I Just let me shoot the propane tank, jerks. Oh, headshot with a shotgun from that far away. Oh! Okay, shotguns go both ways on that kind of damage. Shotguns deliver the same amount of damage in both directions. <laughs> what you can do to them, they can do to you.
Propane and propane accessories only. Yep, Hank Hill. But the problem with Hank Hill is he would not approve of my destruction of propane and propane accessories. Propane and pro yeah, propane and propane accessories. He would be kind of pissed at me that I'm shooting a good propane tank. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's what Hank Hill would sound like once he saw me doing that. Dude, I love King of the Hill. First time I watched King of the Hill, man, I'm pretty sure Bobby instantly became my favorite character in that show. Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. What are you doing over there, Bobby? Damn it. Dude, Bobby is just. <laughs> if there's. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. If there is one character that doesn't have common sense, it's Bobby. Is there, like. Is it marking my body as an X for a reason? Oh, hey, water supplies. I think that's what this is. I think this is food and water supplies. Alright, so I gotta watch for water supplies. Okay, I'm not seeing anything yet. Here we go, water tank. So plus 22 water. Plus 24 water, so we got 20, what is that, 46 water now. So, 23 water, so we're up at uh, 69 water. I want to go back to that defense point. Oh, there's more. I've got 24 water, so I'm just under 100. Actually, I should be right at a little over 90 to 100 water. Are these friendlies? Okay, they're good. They're just a patrol. I was scared. Crap was about to get real yet again. Detected from the control point in proximity. Thank you, Isaac. As always, my friend. I just lost my straw for my coat. So I'm wondering if you have to give them supplies to continue a control point. Whoa. You really have some awesome gear. Well, I know I have awesome gear, but I have some food for you. Yeah, I'm actually like sitting here just like a little sad my straw hit the floor. See? Rubber straw. Those actually silicon straw. All right, so they're full on water, food. I don't know what the la the scroll the screws and nuts thing is. So I gotta find screws or nuts, nuts and bolts. Ooh, what's this? Loot. A kid's shoe? What the hell am I gonna do with a kid's shoe? Beat someone with it? Carbon fiber. What's bad is, if I had a narrator and Sam Jackson was narrating my gameplay this game, he'd just be looking at me like, Motherfucker. Because I keep looting every stupid thing. Like, I'm purposely going out of my way to loot stuff. Mm -hmm. That kid's shoe would be, like, a plus 10 to knock out enemy. Ooh. I just found a random safe house? Good news for you. That's really interesting intel here. Oh, look at that guy's character. Look at his ballistic mask. Oh, that's sick. Looks like you got your hands full. Good luck. SHD tech. Wow. Detected. I can't craft yet though. But I can find Shaytech locations now. Josh is like over there. I'm tired of hearing about this game. Mm, I'm just lying here, drinking my drink, smoking my smoke. 
Nothing wrong with that. That sounds like a good Friday night. Saturday morning, I should say. Ooh, plus three water. Sure. About twelve hours. Object of interest. Damn. Detected. Oh, that's right. You got vacation coming up pretty quick too, don't you? Oh, eight days. You're like my days are counting down there, boys. It's gonna be the. I literally, literally told some of my employees the other day. I'm just like, don't get me wrong. I love you guys to death, but I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, I'd be telling them. Oh, what the hell? That was not the True Sons Rusher. Who the hell are the True Sons? And why are they using much more powerful weapons than these crazy ass hyenas? What is this madness? I don't remember these faction, that faction anyways. I remember factions, just not that faction. What the hell? That dude was not messing around when he came at me. Uh, am I the only one seeing the Doctor Who reference right here? I hate mannequins after that episode of Doctor Who. Just gonna say. Creepy alien mannequins that kill people. Oh no. You know what episode I'm referencing? Chris Eccleston. His first episode yep, as I the do. Doctor. Actually, I think the episode of Doctor Who that scared me the most is, Hey, who turned up the lights? <laughs> oh, God, that was, fr that was fucking frightening. <laughs> hey, who turned out the lights? Yep. Um, and then also blink. Blink, yeah. Don't, whatever you do, don't blink. Don't look away. What do you do? There it is. Don't think. Don't look away. Don't even take your eyes off of the first step. And if you look away, run. I love. Uh, dude, Sebastian, you haven't seen what? If you have Netflix. Not or Netflix, actually, no, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Yeah, that's right. They moved as an ex Amazon exclusive, didn't they? If you Always have Prime. Yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, no. <laughs> uh, go over there and watch Doctor Who. And most specifically, watch, I would say, my favorite episode I like to recommend to people who haven't watched Doctor Who, and I think it's a great introductory episode, is watch Silence in the Library, and then watch uh, Angels Over New York. Oh, no, 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 not Angels Over New York. <laughs> Come on. No. Come on. Don't listen to him unless you <laughs> want to literally weep your eyes out and also have, like, the entire 10th, 11th, and 12th season run, run for you in one episode. Hey, hey, hey. No, that would be the day of the doctor. No. What I'm talking about is definitely the one that would ruin the past few seasons that you watched. Sebastian said we're funny. This is normal banter between Josh and I. Like, this is everyday banter. <laughs> like, my FC on 14, I love those guys. They're crazy. They're absolutely fun to raid with. As you already know since earlier stream, especially after I was in their Discord. Uh, no, Josh and I talk like this all the time. This is normal for us. I would say, actually, I think one of the best introductory episodes to Doctor Who would be uh, Vincent and the Doctor. Very good. That episode, I have never cried because of a TV show until that episode. That episode actually had me in tears. Same for if I'm trying to introduce someone to anime, the one episode I tell them to watch. The one episode of one show to watch. Simply Feet for the Devil, Cowboy Bebop. That's a really good episode. Like, that episode can make a mo that, grown man cry. No, that was the episode... That was my... Really, like, my first true anime I watched. Because I watched, like, Big O growing up. But, in all honesty, like, that was the first one that really got me. That was where I was like, holy shit. Sebastian said, I love Cowboy Bebop. 
I would say the episode that stood out to me the most in Cowboy Bebop was Sea Space Cowboy. You know the one I'm talking about, right? The finale. Yeah. That was my favorite one with Sea Space Cowboy. Like, I think it was one of the greatest. Like, I'm not going to recommend people to go watch a show because that would just ruin the whole series. Agent, got a call from someone you know. Yeah. That's going to be put through directly. This is Rick rescuing me from the hyenas. I understand that Where is it? battery packs and Dear I know where such an item can be found. Meet me at the Odia store and I'll show you. Odia. Okay, so Odia is how it said. The office, agent, but the Samurai Champloo was amazing. Uh, I loved so, Samurai Champloo, Sebastian. Lupin the Third. Lupin the Third wasn't too bad. Big O. I wish they had done more to Big O. Big O was actually pretty fun. Granted, it, after the first season, the show started getting really redundant. Because it was just that same old, same old. Batman with. It was if Batman had a mech. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually a good way to put it. If Batman had a mech, yeah, I actually would agree with like that. He did. He really did. It's if Batman had amnesia. Good God, these enemies do not want to let me through this checkpoint at all. Holy crap! They were hell bent on not letting me through. But I'm loving shotguns in this game. Holy cow. Oh god. Where did the one behind me come from? I didn't even see her. Damn. That actually hurt. Skill, Firefly. The Firefly is a small propelling item capable of delivering. Oh, I didn't get to read it. Hostile control point nearby. Hostile broadcast picked up. Mmm, that's yummy. I'm weird. I love soda flavored ice. I'll get shaved ice and just fill the cup with a little bit of soda so it gets the flavor and just eat it that way. That's actually another way I found if you're ever streaming folks or gaming and you really don't want to get up to get food, eat ice. I'm not kidding, it actually helps curb your hunger. Odia fired him just days before the outbreak. Better keep an eye on him. Huh. Fired him just days before the outbreak. Am I actually at the Odia store? Yeah, here we are. I have to go through the basement. Agent, it's Vikram Malik. Pass through the atrium and meet me downstairs. The basement beneath this store contains the battery packs you need, as well as the only computer in DC that can still connect to the OD and network. Dude, I love eating ice. Like it helped. It's computer. helped me lose so much weight. Like, Get okay, there, so if Sebastian, since you follow my streams, you've been following my streams for a good few months now. So back in August of this year, I hit the heaviest I'd ever weighed. Like this isn't one of those sob stories. This is truly a. I got to the point where if I didn't start losing the weight, the doctors basically told me I didn't have much longer to live at the rate I was going. Um, I'm five, roughly 5'7". Five, I'm a little shorter than 5'7". I was pushing 327 pounds back in August. So I was big, like way bigger than I am now. I hit that point when they told me that it was... Do I sit here and continue being as big as I am or getting bigger? My key card no longer works. Or do I do I something you about it? So I decided to do something about it. And one of the things I did was I started watching what I ate, started eating healthier, started exercising. But I found eating ice helps curb my hunger. And so I've actually been losing a steady amount of weight doing that. You know, just eating ice when I get hungry, when I know I shouldn't be hungry. And I'm down to... Oh, wow. His footprints... What? Look at this detail. That's nuts. 
Dude, I'm leaving footprints in the ground. In the dirt. The battery packs are in the basement below us. Head down there now. Oh, that's right. I need a pre order Aquaman. Aquaman! But I am officially down as of this week to 251 from three, almost 327 pounds. And this is my secret weapon right here. Ice. Hmm. Thanks, man. Blackhawk's down uh, 4K. Nice. So, Josh, I didn't get to tell you. So, I got a Quake Champions hoodie, right? The One of the dev hoodies. You know how sometimes at a game event, they'll sell the developer hoodies for a limited time? So, we were at QuakeCon. They had the Quake Champions developer hoodies. Very few of them, you know, even said limited edition. My hoodie is so big, it's down to my thighs now. Like, I have lost that much weight that I actually started crying, not because of the weight loss, because I was actually sad my clothes aren't fitting. Bastard mount screwed us. We just got one of those battery packs. But getting it out of there isn't going to be easy. Wait, Malik's working with the hyenas? Did he just really sell me out to the hyenas? That asshole. All right, before I dive in this again. Yeah, the dude's a freaking filthy traitor. He sold me out to the hyenas. And now we're gonna look like Chris Redfield again because I actually liked when my character looked more like Chris Redfield than he does now. The only change I need, I need the black combat pants. As I got the blue shirt, and now I just need the athletic Holy shirt, and now I just need combat fuck. pants to go with it. What the fuck? Oh my god. Dustin? Mm hmm? We'll send you something. Your dick's about to get very hard, my friend. I'm worried. Now my character looks like Chris Redfield with mutton chops again. Goodbye. Can, can I order this? Say hello to my shotgun. I want that in my life, bro. Oh Say hello God. to my little God. friend. God my little friend, I'm... 98, still book. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> you can't come near me, neener, neener, neener. All right, that's it. Capcom needs to team up with Ubisoft and make remake ORC using the uh, Division engine in gameplay mechanics. Rainbow S or uh, Resident Evil ORC as a true tactical game by Red Storm would be amazing. Did that dude just really sell me out to the hy He totally sold me out to the hyenas. Oh, loot, loot! No, stop, Chris Redfield. Oh, never mind. That's ammo. That's it. I'm forever calling this agent Chris Redfield just because he does look like a skinnier Chris Redfield. Actually, not skinnier. He looks like a natural, not overly muscled. Dude, RE Division would be amazing for a crossover event. Division with zombies is all that would be. And it would be amazing. I would be completely for it. 
What is that noise? Oh. It's in the game. It's a sound I heard in the first division, and that's usually when you found a drone. Oh, dude, the music in this game is intense, Sebastian. Like, you'd really think that it's software let Mick Gordon, or not really let, but let Mick Gordon take time off to help with the score. I love this soundtrack. Alright, you got heavy armor on, buddy. Let's see how fast you move with the grenades right under your feet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how I should be saying that line. I hear that noise. It's like Is there something above me that I can collect or is it that phone? Uh, it's probably that phone. Hey, I'll, I can always come back. Where's the exit symbol? Exit the Odia sword. 32 meters. Ah, it was the way they were coming in. I bet. Oh, it was under me. That's why I couldn't see it. Hi, Bambi. Hi, Bambi. No sign of Malik from up here. He must have slipped out by another route. Shit. Let's get out of here, Bambi. He trying to hide. He's willing to kill you to keep it a secret. But you survived. I had a deer in a building with me. We'll send a team to pick up the remaining stock. With Ooh. luck, the future's communication problems will be a thing of the past. As for Malik, I'm guessing he'll keep his head down for a while. Hostile control point identified. <laughs> Hostile broadcast detected. That deer is amazing. That deer was just looking at me like, yo dog, I want out of here. You help me, I help you. Runner's pants. So you can actually go find... Oh. That means I'm going to be looting everything now. Some water. Oh, you're waiting for me. Come and get me then. Thought you were waiting for me, bro. Josh, they're too scared to come in. In the grocery store after me. Yep, 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 yep. I was talking shit and died. Mm. 
Oh, yeah. That would do it. A much higher level of stronghold than myself. Mm. I'm gonna quit jerking around in the, in the open world. Alright, now let's see this link that Josh sent. Oh. That's not even a quarter chub. Yep. Like, that's, that's full, full on, that's I just tore my man. pants. Yep. How much is it? $22.99 full still book limited collector's edition 40th anniversary. Digital and 4K ultra copy of Alien 1979. It's not even the remaster, it's the original just in 4K? Yep. Okay, yep, yep, yep. I didn't like the remaster. No, I'm all for this one. I just like literally went chub there. <laughs> yep, anyway, yeah, 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 that's the thing. That is 100% a swing, as Bill and Ted would say. Yep. In the words of Bill and Ted, swing. Chubby, chub, 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 chub. Yeah, right? Alright. Thanks, Agent. Yeah, it's the original Alien Sebastian, just in 4K Ultra. That's it. View the upgrade. Nice! So they got some batteries. They got some uh, solar panels going up now. This base is looking so much better than when I came in here. So Grace is... Almost ranked 2 with her. So what does she need for me to go up higher? So I need one more. So we got to do... Odia Retail Side Mission Completed. Water filtration. Clean water is key to healthy and is number one priority for of any aspiring settlement. A game here for the kids and a perfect hey, Harry, distraction from the hardships of the settlement. Hi, Agent. Let's see. What can I... How do I build that stuff? Is there like a, a way to do that? Is it random? Is it... Projects. Here we go. Donate chest armor. All right, let's go over here. Come on over and take a look. Since I don't know, I don't have any chest armor. They don't even have any to buy. So let's sell. Okay, I'm gonna quit my new gear. As much as I like this shotgun, I. Bet I have something better than it. Just around the corner. Nope. I got it. Oh my! It They're coming out with a 4K remaster of Hannibal. That could actually be interesting to watch. Oh yeah. I'm still waiting for somebody to go back. Don't even screw with it. Just remaster uh, Hellraiser. I love the original Hellraisers. It makes me sad that nobody's given Hellraiser any love recently. Well, they made that one movie that we don't talk about. Do you mean the two, the multiple movies we do not talk about? That one in particular, though. Yeah, that last one was pretty uh, cringeworthy. Some shade text right there. Man, there's shade tech all over the place. Let's clear up the library. <laughs> Dude, I'm just sitting here doing side missions. I've been doing side missions for almost two hours now. I'm not even mad about the amount of side missions I've been doing. This is actually admirable. I remember the first division. It was like, oh, I cleared that area. It's only been an hour and a half. Theater discovered. Now, if Batman came swooping down past the theater, that would be hilarious. Returning with a components. Nice, a scavenge team. 
They may be scavenging, but guess who is also scavenging? They're not alone. Ooh. Plus five components. Okay, I don't like the sound when I hear stuff clanking and banging. Plus one titanium. But I guess if you're in a post-apocalyptic world, this is what it would sound like. Like, you know, metal clanging, birds cawing in the distance. You would just literally be able to hear the city itself deteriorating around you. Yep. Which is kind of a, you know, a frightening ordeal. You too, Sebastian. Remember, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, folks, we will be doing some uh, Anthem. Then, if I'm in the mood later that night, we will turn around and do a double dip, and we will dive straight back into Tom Clancy's The Division 2. And you will get to see everything that you've done tonight expanded upon. And additionally, well, to add on to that additionally speaking, uh, we do have this character for this stream and this stream exclusively i do have a review character that is exclusive to that re this review so you don't have to worry about this character jumping ahead of what you've seen tonight and you know what i actually i'm going to say this is going to be a perfect place to stop it i do want to talk with my buddy josh here for a little bit since i don't get a lot of time with him i want to thank everybody for tuning in remember 8 30 p.m tomorrow night central standard time we'll be right back here with some anthem for our several hours and then we will be back with the division two I want to thank all of you for tuning in. If you enjoyed what you saw, please remember to like the video. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all back here tomorrow night again at 8.30 p.m. Central.